The big international story now and more blasts are being reported in Beirut a day after exploding pages killed 12 and injured thousands across Lebanon. Uh, the latest report suggests handheld radios bought five months ago by the Hezbollah have been targeted. Yesterday, the blast killed members of the militant group Hezbollah and a young girl while wounding several thousand. Officials pointed the finger at Israel in what appears to be a sophisticated remote attack. After the horror and chaos of yesterday, when pagers across Lebanon and Syria exploded, killing 12 and injuring thousands, stories of individual tragedies. Though Israel has neither confirmed nor denied its involvement in the pager blast, it is still the top suspect. But how were the blasts pulled off? To avoid surveillance, Hezbollah had decided to communicate through pagers, as they are tougher to crack. It had received a consignment of 5,000 pagers. According to reports, Israel breached the consignment and planted explosives in the pagers. After Hezbollah received the consignment, it distributed 3,000 pagers. Israel then sent a message to the pagers which triggered the blast. A Taiwanese company, initially believed to have manufactured the pagers, has denied sending any pagers to Hezbollah. Now, 就是用商标授权给他。The unprecedented attack risks further escalation of tensions in the Middle East. It also underscores Hezbollah's vulnerability as its communication network was compromised. NDTV Bureau Report.